I will call the meeting to order at this time. Would you please all rise and pledge to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'd like to open the meeting to the public for any public comment, questions you have for the board. No questions, comments, concerns. Uh, we'll move forward. Uh, first item is announcement. Announcements. Uh, introduction. Go ahead, Chief. Uh, please. I'll do the announcements. It's the introduction of our uh, newest police officer here at Penridge Regional Police Department. Um, officer Lima, if you could come forward. Um, I'd like to present Officer Brian Lehman to the board. Uh, Brian was hired as a part-time officer for this agency. He passed his background investigation, uh, was sworn in, uh, and has begun his field training. Uh, Brian is a graduate of our local Penridge High School. He's a 1993 graduate of Montgomery County Police Academy. Brian started his career in Dublin Borough and quickly rose to the ranks and was eventually promoted uh, to Chief of Police. Brian enjoyed a long tenure as Chief and accomplished many things for Dublin Borough, including accreditation. Brian retired this year as Chief and knew he wanted to continue with his law enforcement career, and we're thankful to have him here at Penridge Regional Police. Uh, Brian, in this uh, profession, you must be a minister, a social worker, a diplomat, a tough guy, and a gentleman. Uh, we welcome you to the greatest profession. I want you to wear this badge with honor and dignity and serve the Penridge community with tireless effort. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there. The Center. Center. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard. That was that was painless. Yeah. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Great asset. flying through his field training, and uh, so he's uh, uh, helping us out a great deal. He knows, the, he knows the roads. <laughs> he does know the roads. <laughs> I think he'll be all right. Thank you. I'd like to thank the board for the opportunity. You got the opportunity it. Sure. To be here. Thank, thank you. you. That's it, right? Save, <laughs> some, save me some cake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of January twenty fourth. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Yep, I read them and, and find them in order. I'll second that motion. Motion made and second. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye so ordered. Financial report. Chief. Uh, everybody has on their packet the uh, unpaid bills uh, detail list uh, dated February 28, 2018, listing the total bills of $55,261.92. And attached is the uh, unaudited report from. Uh, Administrative Assistant Lisa Owens indicating the um, operational account, payroll account, and available funds with the Capital Reserve account at $264,747.20. Uh, you'll see also the profit loss January through December attached to the financial report and the overtime report. Um, you'll note that in the overtime report, uh, $435.44 of that overtime listed is um, reimbursed DA's office uh, narcotics investigation and uh, traffic crash out of county that was reimbursed by district attorney's office. Thank you, Chief. The uh, entertain a motion to pay for payment of the bills on February 20th. Motion made, second. Second. Motion made, second. All in favor by saying aye. 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 So we're, thank you, gentlemen. Chief report. Uh, the following information lists the monthly activities for the Penrose Regional Police Department for the month of January 2018. Penrose Regional Police Department responded to 512 calls for service. Of those calls, 199 were in East Rock Hill Township and 313 were in West Rock Hill Township. The department handled 39 traffic crashes, 17 crashes in East Rock Hill, and 22 crashes in West Rock Hill Township. 20 were reportable crashes and 19 were non-reportable crashes. The Penridge Regional Police Department handled four Part 1 crimes and 28 Part 2 crimes in January, totaling 32 crimes. Um, West Rock Hill crimes are as follows. Uh, assault, one theft with a dollar amount between 50 and 200. 
one possession of heroin, two DUI cases, one harassment, two trespass cases, one bar blow violation, two ordinance violations, and in East Rock Hill the crimes are as follows. One assault, one burglary, no force non-residence, uh, two fraud cases, one criminal mischief, two harassment cases, two possession of marijuana cases, three DUI cases, three cases for disorderly conduct, two cases of trespass, one unauthorized use, and one dog, uh, excuse me, three dog law violations. And the charges filed for January 2018, one simple assault, terrorist threats, one hit and run, one possession of methamphetamine, five DUI cases, um, three possession of drug paraphernalia, one narcotics violation, one possession of a small amount of marijuana, one disorderly conduct. Officers conducted 210 traffic enforcement details and nine details on uh, Old Bethlehem Pike. Officers issued 15 verbal traffic warnings, 61 citations, and 58 written warnings. And officers also conducted 251 business checks. Administratively, we attended a meeting uh, with the Penridge High School with the superintendent in uh, January. And that's the chief's report. Chief, can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, uh, how are we doing with all the like, details? Good. Slowing down? Mm -hmm. Seems to be. Okay. Yeah. I and mean, we issue tickets there. It's a 35 zone. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a targeted enforcement area. It's like, several other roads in the townships. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Chief. Uh, entertain a motion to approve Chief's Make report. A motion. Motion made. Second. I'll second it. Yeah. Motion made. Second. All in favor by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. So ordered. Thank you, gentlemen. Solicitor report, the Honorable John Rice. Um, thank you, Chair. Um, I have nothing new other than I would like to have a brief executive session to discuss the litigation matter. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a motion for that, right? I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion. I'll oh, second. Yeah. Motion made, second on favor of saying aye. Aye. Aye, so ordered. We did anyway, John. We covered you. Under old business, HVAC service agreement. Uh, last month, uh, the board had uh, reviewed the <coughs> service agreement through Air Management Technologies, and uh, the question was asked whether they would provide uh, air filter replacement. I emailed George Knapp from AM AMT and sent that email out. Uh, he indicated that the filters would be changed twice a year, spring and fall, and that is included in the uh, service maintenance contract. So you. You have that service maintenance contract in your uh, packet. Yeah, I reviewed it. I don't have any further questions. Okay. The only thing I, uh, he's, he's confident that twice a year is good enough. He said that, yes. Okay, fair enough. I have to see his vehicle out here when it's going by. He was doing bits of, uh, changing the valves upstairs. He's changing the valves. There's mm -hmm. one valve yet to be replaced, and that's the area in this, in this room. Uh, he has to wait until after uh, March 11th, I think, to, to that valve comes in, because he's heading out to Colorado and then coming back. But I did stop in, and I, grabbed, I, I met him upstairs. He was working on it, and I scared him a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> I walked behind him, and I come up on him. Anyway, I apologize. Um, and I asked him directly that question. Is, is twice a year, the filters on these brand-new units, is this good enough? And he said, ba Gary, based on what he's seen here, and when he first came here, he says, you're not working in, a, in an atmosphere where it gets, they get real dirty in the office. Atmosphere. Okay. And he said that, that twice a year is, is perfect. Is there no reason to do it before that? Is it okay? So, just so you guys know, I told Makes me feel good. Okay, do I have a motion to I'll make an agreement? Yep. And I'll second. Motion made second. All in favor by saying aye. 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 So, uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, new business. On our new business, we have a, uh, a letter of appreciation from uh, Chief Engelhart from the uh, Township Police Department. Uh, to Officer Daniel Forbes and Officer Nicholas Winfelder. The letter reads as follows. On January 11, 2018, uh, Officer Robert Ryan of his department attempted to stop a vehicle for traveling at a high rate of speed and driving recklessly on both Route 313 and Dublin Road. After pulling over briefly, the vehicle fled at a high rate of speed. Officer Ryan terminated his attempt to stop the vehicle. However, the vehicle was spotted again by Sergeant John Gildave, Hilltown Township Police. Uh, as he approached him on Callahill Road at <coughs> State Route 113. The vehicle turned around again and fled upon seeing Sergeant Gilday's emergency lights. A short time later, officers received a report of a vehicle stuck in a snowbank in the 600 block of Bennett Lane. The complaint advised that the driver fled on foot from the scene. Officers ascertained that it was the same vehicle that had absconded from them. Officer Daniel Forbes and Officer Nicholas Winfeld of the Penitentiary Police Department responded to the scene to assist in the search of the driver. 
While searching for the subject, Officer Forbes assisted in checking a suspicious vehicle spotted driving around in the area, which turned out to be the girlfriend of the driver who was trying to extricate him from the scene. Officer Winfelder assisted in the search and was integral in locating the driver, uh, Cole Pisarek, who was taken into custody without further incident. Mr. Pisarek was charged with fleeing and attempting to elude police, driving under the influence of alcohol and narcotics offenses, and multiple other offenses. Please extend my gratitude to Officer Forbes and Winfelder on my behalf for their assistance on the job well done. I'm extremely pleased by the interagency cooperation and assistance that we share in order to better serve and protect the community. Sincerely, uh, Chief Chris Engelhardt from Milltown Township Police. So that letter is copied and put in a personnel file. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Chief. <clears throat> okay, at this time I'd like to open the meeting to the public for any public comment, concerns, before we adjourn and go into executive session. Does anyone have anything for the board? If not, do I have a motion to adjourn and go into you executive do. session? No second. Motion made second. All in favor by saying aye. 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 So word. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it.